Hello, hello. Welcome back. It has been a very long time since I last spoke directly to the camera like this. It's been probably a year. For whatever reason, your girl's got the itch to um, maybe post one or two YouTube videos this year. I'm not trying to become a YouTuber or anything, but I find that every time I step away from doing videos, I miss it and then I want to do it and then maybe I'll film one video and then a year goes by and then I miss it and yada yada yada. So no idea even how consistent I'm going to attempt to be with these but today I woke up it's 7 30 it's Mother's Day Sunday. I've got shit to do today so I just couldn't lay around anymore so I just got up and figured I would get ready and figured I would say hello to you guys again and uh, see what's up. So I'm just gonna start my makeup and we'll just kind of get caught up. <laughs> I definitely feel like since the last time that I had done a YouTube video that I really am a completely different person. It's kind of crazy to me how many times in our lives I'm just applying moisturizer with SPF. I'm, it's just crazy to me how many times I change in this life and I'm always changing I am a big believer that everyone is changing at all times. I have a really hard time with people like getting in fights and having fallouts. Oh, she's changed. He's changed. Well, yeah, if they became like, I don't know, a shoplifter all of a sudden. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't want to hang out with them anymore. But people change and evolve and we should be there to change and evolve with them. Not sure where I'm going with that whole conversation. <laughs> Other than I just, I'm still figuring out who I am now in this new kind of life that I live. When I was really consistently doing YouTube videos it was because it was mainly because I needed that outlet because I just had a full-time desk job sitting and wanting to just like I don't know gouge my eyeballs out and now I sorry my makeup's over here. Now I absolutely love my job. I'm a hairstylist and a makeup artist and I love it but when I'm done, <laughs> I'm done, like physically, mentally, it's a lot. You know, they tell you you're gonna be multiple things for people when you're a hairstylist, but I think until you're in that role, it's hard to really know the weight of it. At the end of the day, I wanna make people look and feel good and be beautiful and give them their hair goals and dreams. The other side of it, those same people are also telling you when a loved one has cancer or they're going through a divorce or just need advice and some days I feel like I need that shoulder to lean on and in turn I'm being that shoulder for people, which I, I love being there for people, but I'm really, I'm really trying to navigate how to be there for me <laughs> these days and my health first and kind of getting back to basics of just being good to myself. So that's what I'm trying to get better at, I guess. I just used the e.l.f. mattifying balm with my Wet n Wild foundation. I did do a self tan, which is why I have to go to this one because it's a little bit darker than my usual shade. I did not bring a water up, which was a bad idea in the morning try and have a lemon water in the morning. For those of you who have never tried it, try it. I swear it'll change your life. There's just something about lemon water that I used to hate it. I used to hate honestly anything flavored lemon and now I probably have a lemon water almost every day. I go on stretches where I don't but for the most part, it's an everyday thing and it just feels like it gets me awake. I don't know, it's kind of bizarre. Granted, I'm pretty spoiled. Eric makes me coffee every morning, but the lemon water is amazing. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Foundation Soft Beige. What kind of BS name is that? And I'm just gonna go in with, I don't even know where this brush is from or what, but I'm gonna go in and just buff this into my skin. I was hoping to have time to go to the grocery store this morning before we go to the Mother's Day brunch. 7.40 now. We don't have to be there till 11, leave here 10.30. I could probably do that. 
Anyone else hate going to the grocery store? So I did wax yesterday and I can tell that my makeup is having a little bit of a tough time sticking. So I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit in those areas. I can't believe it's already the middle of May. Here in Iowa, we have lovely shit weather. It'd be worse there because there are places near us that are having extreme flooding issues. And so I'm just using my, um, I almost said Jeffree Star concealer. <laughs> I wish. I, if any of you have used the Jeffree Star concealer, let me know. I have not made that purchase yet. Not because I don't want to. I just haven't taken the time to. And I've been hearing really good things. This morning light though, holy smokes, making me look like I'm using like white. And my voice probably sounds so weird. I feel like my voice sounds weird to begin with, but doesn't everyone kind of think that? I feel like everyone kind of always thinks their voice sounds funny, unless you're like freaking Adele or something, but I usually don't use this brush to blend out my concealer, but a lot of my brushes are filthy right now, and my skin's feeling really good, so I'm not trying to use a dirty brush on it, and I just got a new beauty blender, but I couldn't be bothered, <laughs> and I'm just kind of patting. Just kind of work and that in. Did I ever say what concealer I am using? Tarte Shape Tape. But I will be wanting to try out the Jeffree Star. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Concealers and powders. I need to order some new lipsticks. I usually allow myself to get a couple new lipsticks every year from Jeffree Star. Uh, but usually that ends up being I buy a couple of my tried and true like Red Rum, which is that classic like right here. That classic red. It looks more pink right now, but it's like your true true red. So I usually get a new one of those every year just because they're vegan and... I feel like that's about as good as they last as a year. I get a new one of those and then I did look at a couple of his newer shades. Might order up some of those. Eric and I are really trying to get into a new house by like next summer at the latest and really been trying to be good with my spending. That's been awesome. Adulting, being responsible. Of course we said we weren't gonna get tattoos this year because obviously that's you know a couple hundred bucks or more depending on what we get that we could save but I'm a big believer on like getting after your goals, but also enjoying your life while you live it. I hate to be a pessimist, but I mean, I could die tomorrow for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm not trying to like not do anything enjoyable for two years straight. I think for this September, for our anniversary, we might try and do a little tattoo trip. Just a little something. <laughs> I have set my face with the Kat Von D setting powder using just this Real Techniques brush. I have really coarse. I guess I can show you. This is what my brows look like. So, yeah, pretty sparse, pretty coarse. So, like, where the hair goes is pretty much where it wants to go. I usually, I have to fill in kind of like this area, that corner, and there, but then. I just end up getting wild with it. So I'm just using an e.l.f. blush brush and I'm kind of squeezing it like this to do my contour. Just using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I will link that shit below. Everything I'm using I'll put below just because I know it's hard to watch these videos and be like, well, what, what did you use? And I'm feeling kind of chatty right now so I'm sure I'm not saying at all what products I used. So I'm just kind of doing that by my ears, bringing that down. I'm using Milani's Luminoso. I already know, I can feel this day. I already am vibing with it. I already know kind of how it's gonna be. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. There's probably gonna be quite a few people there buying flowers for their moms. Which, shout out Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to my mama. But there's gonna be a ton of people buying flowers and cards. I come back here, we're gonna go to our brunch, and then I'm probably gonna come back home, wash my face, put a mask on or something. But I have a feeling I'm just gonna lounge. Like our house is kinda clean, don't, this room, not clean whatsoever. <laughs> But the rest of our house, for the most part, has been tidied up. I feel like it's just gonna be kind of a loungy day, and I'm okay with that, because tomorrow I'm in the salon from 9 a.m. to like 8 or 8.30 p.m., so I'm gonna 
take as much time of just laying around today as I want. So I'm gonna go in my Wet n Wild highlighter. This is Mega Glow. And this blush already has a bit of a highlight when I'm really feeling it. I usually, I'm not an everyday highlighter, but when I need that skin to just look fresh, some days I don't use it because I feel like my texture throughout here, it just brings it out even more. So I really focus mine kind of that outer, outer corner. And then I'll do ever so slightly down the nose. <laughs> Sorry, my camera just died. No, but really my uh, space card or my <clears throat> memory card. There we go. Memory card was full, but I'm that real YouTuber I got too. So I just switched that out and now I'm sweating. If it was just me and not you and me in the room right now, I would just strip down naked, sit here and do my makeup, because that's usually how I do it, but I'm keeping it simple. So I kind of lay my brows in the direction that I want them to go, and then I just start going. Can you even see here? Oh, that's a cute look. Here, let me... Let me do this. Okay, sometimes you gotta walk away before shit starts going awry. Just walk away. Walk, walk away. I always go back to that bitch after. But walk away. The brows could be better, but I don't really care. So, cool. Let's get you back up here. They are good enough because I don't really care all too much. Sorry. I will totally refrain from singing next time. Brows are drawn on. Benefit brow gel and just scoop these into place. Brows are done. Face is done. Lips and eyes are left. I'm gonna go tried and true Kat Von D shade and light eye contour. I'm just gonna go with a light shade. Sweep that over my eye. And then I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush into like a neutral color. And I'm just gonna kind of mainly carve out my eye through the crease because I kind of just want to keep it simple today and make it more just about my eye shape. Sorry, I can't talk and freaking do this at the same time. Okay. Ugh, I don't like this brush. I'm just gonna go with one of these. I need to reorder Sigma brushes. It's really good. This one's probably like six years old. And it's so soft. I feel like with some of the Morphe brushes, like, I go to put them on my eye and I'm like, ah, this is, keep it simple. I, I get, I start, mm, mm, okay. <laughs> I start like being like weird and wanting to like do everything. So, um, that's all I need. I am going to do a little bit of white or this is like a nude, it's called the NYX Wonder Pencil. It's just like a nude pencil. I'm gonna do that in my bottom lash line. Try and keep my eyes fresh. <laughs> With these allergies, my eyes tend to be itchy and watery and red, and so anything to at least try and distract from the red, I'll take. And usually I will put black in my upper waterline before I do this next step. But with my allergies, it's just not, not been an option lately. Keeping the lash line really nice and simple. Cool. So I picked this up when I was at Sephora the last time. It's the Milk Makeup Mascara. I know I'm really, really, really late to that train, but I needed a new mascara and I was there, so I just picked it up. And I don't, I don't, 
I don't know. I have to I have to use it a few more times because I find I like drier mascaras because they can really like get in there. This one's it's pretty good. I tend to get it everywhere. Still figuring that out. See, like, look, it you can just barely see that little fleck. I didn't even touch my lash to my eye. I think it's just like the mascara itself, I'm very picky with mascara, and if it's like flying everywhere while I'm applying it, it's a no-go for me. Mother It's just very wet, and I feel like I have to pretty much, for my lashes, look all the way back like this in order to not get mascara everywhere, and usually I don't have this problem, but for whatever reason, this mascara literally goes everywhere. Look at my head is tilted all the way back and I still What am <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? I'm gonna break my freaking neck trying to put this mascara on. Okay. And of course my mouth has to be wide open. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, woe is me, my lashes are really long and mascara gets everywhere. But on a serious note, I do have long lashes and I don't really ever have this problem. I don't know if it's just the formula and how this is made with like those tiny little fibers or not fibers. I don't know what they actually are. Maybe I need to like really wipe off the mascara wand before I use it. I don't know, but it's really frustrating to do your makeup. Literally my head is tilted all the way back. Like I can't look down any further. Okay, oh my god got a headache now and look at it. so uh, if you use this and like it let me know because what am I doing wrong whenever I get done or whenever I get to my mascara stage I I'm done whenever I get to my mascara stage I turn on my curling iron I'm just gonna let this mascara dry and then doing do all the touch-ups I need to because there's a lot and <clears throat> mm -mm. I shampooed yesterday so I shouldn't need too much of this mainly on day one I like to just spray kind of in my perimeter of I'm using the Wella dry dry shampoo um, day one I really just use it to kind of like get my volume back I let that sit. So I don't want my hair to be like curl curled. I just want it to be like beachy. I'm just gonna clip up a top section and then I grab this first section and I always curl in. I'm just using a one inch hot tools curler and I'm leaving the end out. Kind of just focusing on that middle area. I'll grab a big chunk. The bigger the sections, the more loose your curls are gonna feel after you comb them out so you can see I'm really just doing the mid shaft life of a hairstylist can someone come do my hair I actually still enjoy doing my hair some days I don't but I think the days that I don't want to do my hair are the days that I just like maybe I'm battling like depression or anxiety and I don't really want to do anyone's hair because <laughs> you know that's real life and a lot of times on like day one, I'll take like a lot smaller sections. That way the curls just last longer because there's more of them over the weekend and stuff. So it's not really worth to like detail it out, which is why I'm just kind of taking larger sections. Oh, sounds like the puppas are up. And usually this section I just have two because I do the back separate. It is May and we turned our heat on last night. How bold is that? Watch, June's going to be blazing hot and I'm going to be crying. So now this is where I will kind of go off of my part here. Section that away, section that away. And then I will take this section here, pull it up, and then I will just do one, three, just to get some volume in there. And I'll take a section here. I 
and don't touch your curls until you're done. Anyone else this energetic in the morning without caffeine? I have not even had a coffee yet. So, I'm just going to take this right here. I'm going to get my hair cut and get a fresh toner in a couple weeks. I'm not sure what I want to do with my hair. The other day when I wore this milk mascara for the first time, I forgot to go back and like clean that shit up. It wasn't until like my second client I went into the bathroom. I was like, oh, cute. <laughs> Unplugged. Fun tip, if you have a habit of leaving stuff plugged in or not remembering if you unplugged it, say unplugged and you'll remember not unplugging it, but you'll remember saying it. So then you'll know for sure you unplugged it. When I'm curled, I'm just gonna go in with my Beach Club by IGK. And I'm just going to kind of hold out and spray. And I'm just going to run my fingers through it. Maybe throw some oil there through the ends, but I can see my battery is about to die. Put on some lipstick and get on with my day. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.